Hey there, my name is John. You're watching the Strix YouTube channel. And today we're in the behind the scenes series of Strix and how we went from concept to launching. And today we have launched, we'll link to the previous videos in the past, but this is the sixth video. Where we're gonna talk about our experience in an accelerator program at XRC Labs in New York. And uh, co-founder Devere is gonna talk through um, how did you even get introduced to XRC? So, that, that, that is a bit of a funny story because this was like, again, uh, we discussed this in the last video, but the, the opening uh, two or three months of Strix were, were really strong. Um, uh, the numbers were, were really good at, uh, at that time um, for a company that young. Uh, and so XRC Labs actually came to us, but at that time we were getting like hit up by um, these sorts of things all the time. Like every day there was a new thing in my inbox of, you know, oh, come join this thing. And it wasn't that they were all like accelerator things. Most of it was like they were selling something. And um, and so my I came at a certain point, it was like, I'm like, okay, I just had like a canned response to these things. Like, look, if, if you want to speak with us, you want to speak with me, like, you know, come to, come to our address, come to our office. Um, whatever it was at the time I was borrowing office space from from friends um, you know so I'm like come come to us right and and everyone was like nah so that, that was like weeding out like 99% of them right off the bat and XRC labs I get this email I'm like what's XRC okay looked into it you know this um, very interesting looking uh, CPG consumer goods incubator accelerator program I'm like look if you really want us you know come come out to our office space um, and we'd be happy to talk. And they emailed back within like an hour and were like, okay, we'll be there tomorrow at this time. Uh, I'm like, whoa. So they came, we spoke for like an hour. They really convinced us um, uh, to pitch uh, and, and that it would be a great fit. We thought about it uh, because accelerators, obviously they invest, um, but they also take equity obviously in, in, in return for that. Um, did we really want that? Did we need that at that point? Um, the long and short of it is one of the strongest, best decisions that 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 we made for this company, hands down, no question. Um, and that's not to say that the entire experience, start to finish, was perfect. Well, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. So I was supposed to pitch with with someone else, um, uh, one of the other early partners in the company. He woke up with like 103 fever that day. Um, ended up in in the doctor's office all day. So. I pitched by myself uh, to this boardroom of like 40 executives and XRC's sponsors and, and corporate partners and things like that. Um, and we were accepted. Uh, I guess it went well enough. Um, and so, uh, you know, they get hundreds of applications. I think they only let uh, 20 or 30 companies pitch and then they accept like six to eight. Um, so we, we were very lucky uh, in that sense to, to be accepted. Um, and, uh, and so, yeah, then, then you go, they have office space at, at like Parsons School in, in New York City. Um, so I was there a bunch of times a week and was working with them. Um, and ultimately, I think what, to condense it all, um, the real advantage of an accelerator uh, is a realignment of priorities. You have people that are much more experienced than you, who have done this before many times, who have seen companies from you know early incubation stage through to an exit even. Um, and it was really like a realignment of priorities for us. We were focusing on things we shouldn't have been focusing on and, and vice versa. So that was, you know, super helpful, just the, the expertise, the guiding hand, uh, and then connections. So just like these accelerator programs um, are so well connected because of the people that work there, because of the corporate sponsors or whatever it might be. Um, and so between the different events, uh, just the general network and mentors that they were able to offer us and all these sorts of things uh, was, was a huge, huge deal for us and, and growing the company. So, I, I mean, I've definitely seen other incubators, but it seems like the expertise, because this one was so specific to product companies, is really what set this one out, as opposed to getting into any accelerator program and then, you know, hoping that it would work out because they had worked with other companies. Has that, that been your experience? Yeah, most accelerators and incubators out there are tech accelerators. So it's all like, you know, SaaS companies and software companies and, and all these sorts of things. Um, XRC Labs is one of the only that I know of that, that really has an expertise in consumer packaged goods. Um, and for sure on the East Coast and for sure in New, in New York, uh, they're, they're one of the only, if not the only, that really has a true expertise in CPG, direct-to-consumer, e-commerce. Um, 
Uh, and they're, I mean, they're pretty damn prestigious. Uh, Billy, uh, the shaving company went through there. Shop Shops, which is e-commerce, uh, you know, a bit more SaaS, but, but fundamentally an e-commerce company, uh, went through there as well. Um, and, and I, again, just speaking firsthand experience, um, there were other CPG companies in our same cohort that we can work with and share learnings with. That, that's another huge deal with these accelerators. If the other companies there, um, you know, there's a synergy there. It's like uh, we we got almost more from some of the other companies in our cohort um, even than, than XRC. And, and XRC would love to hear that. That's like, you know, uh, what they're all about and what these accelerators, I think, are all about when they're at their best. Um, and so there's real expertise there. They're able to speak to things and understand they had different tracks for SaaS and CPG. Um, and, and, you know, most of these other uh, incubators or accelerators you go to, you know, they, they have, you know, it's, it's all SaaS, it's all software, it's all tech. So to be able to be in an accelerator that really understood and focused on this area was, was a huge deal. Well, and I think they're great because they're the ones that told you you should bring somebody else on. That is true. So uh, that, that, that's how we uh, we brought John on to the company. Um, again, well, one of the best calls and, and, and coming back to this idea of like realigning priorities, I was like pretty much handling everything by myself. And uh, they were like, look, if this company is ever going to grow, you need another serious set of full time hands. Um, and uh, now we got John and we very recently made our first full time hire as well. And, you know, the, the rest is history. So far, early history. But, but very exciting. So. Yeah, I mean, I remember we, I would come in New York and I would come in and stay and we'd we, you know, be in Parsons. And like you were saying, with the other companies in there, it's like I still bug them now in Slack and say like, hey, what's going on with this thing? And so, yeah, there's a huge part of it, which is the expertise of the incubator and that's specific to the company. But then there's the cohort of people that you're already in, whether it be alumni or the people you're in there directly with, because it's like, this is a lonely thing. Building a company can be extremely lonely, which is why you find these communities and go through this with somebody at a similar stage like at an incubator, I think was, was very powerful for us. And so, uh, yeah, I know, I know we look back and uh, I kind of miss the, the townhouse. You know, the <laughs> yeah, for sure. All right. So that is uh, an accelerator. That's our experience with it. And, you know, if anybody has any questions about that process, we'll be down in the comments as well. This is part of the Behind the Strix series. And so next we're going to talk about uh, our third product because in the stage of the company, it's like this is where we were. We went through XRC. And then we launched a new product and then COVID hit. So we got a few more excellent videos for you. We'll have them linked down below as they come out. And we'll also have a playlist with all the behind the scenes videos. But thanks for joining us. That is Strix, you more answer.